And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures right now across the Midwest are in the 20s, but it's a lot colder in Fargo and Bismarck down in the single digits. We are tracking some very chilly temperatures this afternoon. It was well below zero in Winnipeg, Regina, Grand Rapids and northern Manitoba. And how about the rest of these temperatures? Well, farther north in Dawson, it was 52 degrees below zero. We're not going to get that extreme, but what's happening is the polar jet stream is dipping down south and we're going to have a little bit of a taste of it with a strong northwest flow for tomorrow and also on Monday. Eventually this dip in the jet will lift farther northward and we'll get more into a western flow pattern, which will moderate our temperatures up as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. As for the day for today, it was cloudy, but we did have a little peak of sunshine getting into the early afternoon before more clouds rolled into our area and we've just been under some pretty high level clouds throughout the area. Area of low pressure near Hudson Bay and its associated cold front stretching all the way towards Kansas and behind it a strong area of high pressure with that cold air right behind it and we're going to have a strong contrast in temperatures from today into tomorrow. Right now we're in those lower to mid 20s behind that front we will be down in the single digits. We've got cloudy conditions and a few light flurries being picked up on radar. There could be a few flurries as we head into the rest of tonight, but then as we head into the day for tomorrow, we'll turn lots of sunshine, but it will be a cold day down to the south. There's some light rain showers and even a little bit of some freezing drizzle that's causing winter weather advisories to remain in effect across the southern Great Lakes and Midwest. And there's been a few reports of freezing drizzle, light ice accumulation in downstate into Illinois and Indiana. For us, just a few flurries overnight, and then once that cold front moves in here, we'll have a lot of sunshine throughout the day for tomorrow. Tomorrow night we get into clear skies, and then as we head into the day for Monday, we'll have more mostly sunny skies. But what's going to happen is when that cold front moves through, those winds really start to pick up out of the northwest about 30 to 35 miles per hour and stick around as we head into Sunday night. But then they do start to lighten up a little bit. However, it still remains breezy continuing into Monday afternoon. As we go into tomorrow, wind chills will be down into the teens to negative 15 below zero during the daytime, and it could get even colder as we head into tomorrow night with wind chills potentially getting down to 20 to 30 below zero. High temperatures tomorrow will get up to around 8. Normal high for this time of year, 26, so well below the normal as we head into the next two days. Temperatures right now, though, not bad. We are near seasonal values in the lower to mid 20s and mid 20s right along the shoreline with winds coming in out of the south at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. For tonight, we'll drop down to 4 with winds uh, pretty breezy out of the southwest, eventually turning out of the northwest. High of 9, but with wind chills around negative 10 to near negative 20 with gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour. Getting up to only of a high of 4 on Monday, but at least it is short lived. We'll get back up to 23 on Tuesday, 30 on Wednesday, and low 30s continue into Friday. Might have a light chance of some snowfall Friday into Saturday, but it uh, doesn't look to be too significant. Maybe a few light snow showers, but really the big cold air they will have to bundle up for in the next two days. Do you know those wind chills look frightening? Yeah, if your fridge or freezer breaks, just put your food outside. <laughs> Thanks, Gino.